This is the Techno Gaze podcast. You can hear us live on Joy 94.9 Saturday afternoon from noon via the live stream at joy.org.au forward slash listen live. Or tune your wireless in Melbourne to 94.9 FM. So you finally decided to buy a new computer. You go down to your local computer store and what do you find? A zillion choices. How do you decide what to buy? Should it be a Macintosh or a PC? If it's a PC, what brand of PC? And what kind of display? How much memory? How big a hard drive? Should you get a CD-ROM? And on and on and on. Today we'll help you answer those questions as we bring together a group of experts to give you advice on how to buy a new computer. Good afternoon and welcome to Techno Gaze, the show where we gaze into the world of consumer electronics, gadgets and technology. On Joy 94.9, this is a very special edition of the show. We are doing a 20th birthday <laughs> celebration. <laughs> Your blower. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so it is, it is Joy's 20th birthday week this week. And oh my God, is it a big event? I'm looking around me and I've got lights, I've got cameras, I've got people, I've Action. got mm. cables going everywhere. We've got curtains. It's, and it's, it's not even, <laughs> we've got curtains. It's not even just the studio outside. There's a pile of uh, video equipment. You know. There's more tech than you can throw a stick at. I, yes, I was quite amazed. I thought, wow, it's like tech geek heaven in here today. <laughs> Buttons and levers and knobs and more sliders. More than usual. More than I usual. Know. It's like, oh, and by the way, you can actually see us with all this equipment. It is for a, a, a purpose, right? So It is. <laughs> it's, That's right. It's for us to be able to, um, well, for you to be able to view us on the interwebs. Uh, what's the uh, address? It's actually, we're doing a bit of a test run right now, I do believe. That's right. Um, up on our page, joy.org.au slash technogaze, um, you'll see a bit of a, a video stream. Us live. Us live. Making fools of ourselves. That's T-E-C-H-N-O-G-A-Z-E. Mm. Are we going to change our name to Video Gaze? Video Gaze? We could. It video might confuse gaze. some people. True. But, um, yeah, why not? Video Gaze, Techno Gaze. We're Techno video Yes, I've got where, to wear my hat. Is, where is hats. your hat? There's yeah, we my all hat. need There's party hats. hats. I don't think Raina needs a party hat. I have though. party hair. Party hair, absolutely. <laughs> She's gone out. My God. <laughs> Do you want my, my hat says fairy girls. Does it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> How appropriate. <laughs> Mine is a fairy girl as well. I think. Is it still on? Yes. There's no tin foil. <laughs> it's, it. it's fashionably placed at an angle. <laughs> 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 no hat sits straight on that head. <laughs> <laughs> now, we do like to talk about technology oh, yeah. on this show, and we do have a relatively typical show to, to bring you today, what with all the celebrations going on. Um, what, are we, what are we going to talk about? We've got, lo- <laughs> we've got lots of things. We're, we're talking about leaks. Yes. Ah, NSA. Again. Yes. Still. <laughs> the, there's, I, I guess um, what's come about this week is a few sort of loose ends have been tied up in the in the space of WikiLeaks, um, the NSA, uh, the Snowden leaks, of course, as well. So, you know, nice, nice to be able to hmm. touch base on that. Um, we're going to actually, throughout the show as well, we're going to um, touch base with a few people around the, stu- uh, the station here. Uh, who have been involved in the in Joy, not necessarily in in Techno Gaze, but in in Joy as a, a, the running of the station, mm. and uh, they actually they work in technology themselves. You know, they work in IT and that sort of thing. So um, we'll have a bit of a smattering of of uh, of insights into 
into those uh, into yeah. what people do here. It's surprising how uh, how Joy's a bit of a geek central, really, isn't it? It yes. is. <laughs> um, and and oh, our special guest today will be Craig. Um, he, of course, is a well-known guest here on on Techno Gaze, uh, among other radio uh, shows here on Joy, and he will be giving us um, uh, coming in to, to sort of join us in the celebrations, uh, not too distant future from now. Um, later on in the show, we'll talk a bit about NBN, the um, the uh, the government and what they're doing with NBN, and and perhaps it's not um, as coalition friendly is what they wanted it <laughs> mm. to be. <laughs> it's not panning out the best. Yes. Oh, we do have a prize draw as well. That's I, right. I believe. <laughs> we do. If you think you might get lucky. Yes. <laughs> Good segue. Oh, terrible I should segue. never mention them, but yeah. <laughs> so Get Lucky by... Um, Daft Punk. Daft Punk. No, no, no sorry, not Get Lucky. Um, Random Access Memories that, by Daft right. Punk, which, which is, includes... includes so word. we'll be giving that uh, that away within the show as well because it's mm. Joy's 20th birthday. Um, we're giving away birthday presents to our listeners because that's what we like to do here on Joy 94.9. <laughs> we've, we've got a message. We've we got do. a message already. Yes. Mark. Ah, uh, Mark. We're wishing us a happy birthday. Ah. Oh, thank you, Mark. <laughs> Yes. Um, once you get in here, it, it's amazing what's going on here in the studio. So if you if you want to check us out, you can see our our um, beautiful faces on uh, a streaming. <laughs> I, video d- I did my hair especially. <laughs> it's a little to the really? left today. It's great. <laughs> Although I'm not as I didn't do it as well as Raina did. <laughs> now, how about we um, we talk a bit about what's been going on in tech this week, um, and what has been going on? Um, oh, Department of Justice. And WikiLeaks. That's right. Yes. Uh, so they've they've come to the conclusion that WikiLeaks is actually a media organisation, which is uh, has got huge ramifications. I think mm. because what it means is that all these bloggers out there have been legitimised. Mm. Well, it's all about I think the US laws and their um, protection of media in terms of whistleblowing. Um, and uh, you know the ability to protect sources and, and mm. those kinds of things. Um, and of course, there's always been this cloudy, sort of murky area where WikiLeaks, because it wasn't really, it was just a website, I think, when they first uh, leaked things or it kind of evolved into this media organisation once people start to notice. Sure. And even, even with that, it still hasn't necessarily evolved a lot. It's not like a traditional sort of news service where they have, you know, things they put on a wire or anything. They're still, you know, very grassroots, apparently. Mm. Um I think with its own uh, political dramas and things, as you might expect. But, yes. Uh, yes. But, yeah. but with so the the Department of Just- Justice, the U.S. Department of Justice, has apparently um, uh, leaning towards the decision of uh, recognizing WikiLeaks as a journalistic entity. Um, now they they fear that if they prosecute WikiLeaks, then they will have to go after other U.S. news sources and journalists as well. So, you know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander if, mm. if they did. Um, Michael, you were grinning there a little bit. No, I was just I was just thinking that uh, they probably received some very strong legal advice that said, hey, if you do this, you're going to open up a huge can of worms. Can of worms, yes, yeah. yes. Um, of course, this is good news for, um, for WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. Mm. So um, the question always begs then, does what happens to Julian Assange, does he... Cons- Need to continue his protection to, you know, w- within the Ecuadorian embassy yes. in London, w- without this Department of Justice thing hanging over it. And is this just another way to get him out of the uh, the protection of Ecuador? Well, well I'd well, like to kidnap him. Wasn't the whole point of the protection of Ecuador is because they thought that you know he would get prosecuted by the Department of Justice? Well, mm. if if that's no longer going to be the case, then time for him to head back to Sweden. Yeah. Because they're waiting for him there. Yeah, he has offered, of course, to um, to uh, do the court cases, the court hearings that he's up for in Sweden um, via video link in his defence. But yeah, maybe he should um, face some music. Yeah, but until things are made official, I can't see him or the Ecuadorian government making any changes yes. to the current situation. Yes. 
You're listening to Joy 94.9. We're um, in birthday week this week. We're 20 years young here at Joy. Um, 1993 was the first year of Joy's broadcast. And um, we have a. <laughs> we went trolling around the internet, didn't we, <laughs> earlier in the week? Because there's a whole bunch of stuff, some really corny stuff from 1993, isn't there? Yes, mm-hmm. in hindsight, now you go, oh dear. <laughs> Um, so uh, you might hear some of some snippets from that throughout the show as well. Um, oh, if you're a Twitterer, you can tweet the hashtag Joy20. Uh, that's hash Joy20, or one word, of course, because it's a hashtag. Um, you can tweet at us here at Technogaze, T-E-C-H-N-O-G-A-Z-E. If you're feeling a bit old school, you can also text us 0427 JOY949. That's not old school. <laughs> Phoning us on 1300 JOY949 is old school. That's old school, especially if you've got a rotary <laughs> phone. I wonder if rotary phones still work. Uh, probably not. I remember I, I actually had a, the household I was living in when I was a kid. Uh, 1993 had a rotary phone. I was, tw- mm, I was, same tw- year. I was 12. <laughs> In fact, we had a Sorry. rotary phone until I think uh, 98, possibly even a bit later. My, really? Yeah, my parents were like, I'd say they they were stuck to the the thing that worked. None of this touch phone When I grew up, we had those phones that you'd sort of go like that. <laughs> Actually, we're videoing, so, so you can <laughs> see works. the hand movement that works. And As you in talk to the operator, up, the yeah. windy one, yeah, the yeah, windy right, one. Right. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you can uh, you can contact us in, in any means you wish because we uh, love to hear from you on uh, Joy ninety four point nine. And um, in a few moments, we'll um, be back with more techno gaze, including Craig joining us in the studio um, right after this. Technogaze. Have you ever borrowed a book from thousands of miles away across the country? without stopping for directions or sent someone a fax from the beach you will <laughs> welcome to techno gaze on joy 94.9 we've already welcomed you we are um <laughs> 15 minutes into the show it's 17 minutes past 12 by the way and um we're streaming live on the internet right now as well via video link. <laughs> How exciting. It's very <laughs> exciting. I've, we've got cameras all around. I don't know if I can handle this. I've got, I've got this <laughs> feel like a media personality. <laughs> I'm sweating under the lights. <laughs> I, I feel like it. Yeah, it, it's actually got a bit of heat going on in here, more so than usual. Um, now, we also have in the studio as well as Michael, Rayner and myself, Mark, we've got um, Craig here with us. Hello, Craig. Hello. You're, of course, a, um, a welcome guest here on Joy, uh, on Techno Gaze. Yes. As well as numerous other shows on Joy 94.9. We thought you'd, um, we'd invite you in because we do love you in, uh, as a guest on, the, on, on Techno Gaze. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. I, what, isn't my title like the resident... Scientist? That's right. Yes, you are. <laughs> Your own Dr. Carl. Drop some science <laughs> on us. <laughs> Dr. Craig. Have you got any you know, random facts that you want to give? <laughs> well, the one that I was looking up for this show was that a lot of people often forget that the internet was not invented by America. It was actually invented in Europe for CERN in the first website yes. and server was put up in 1990 in December yes. um, as a way of communicating scientific data between different collaborations and things like that. Mm. Indeed. So not long after Joy became a thing as well. So 1990 was when that happened. Yep. And 1993 is when Joy um, began broadcasting. At, during the same year, 1993, I think CERN announced that the World Wide Web would be free for all to use. So it would become the thing that um, is free of any fees or any, any use costs, which yes. is a, a, an amazing thing in itself. Uh, I think if uh, that wasn't the case, and we might be in a very different world today. Yes, definitely. We possibly wouldn't have cameras and lights and God knows what surrounding us <laughs> here in the studio. <laughs> and we wouldn't have had the bandwidth. This is true. Mm-hmm. Well, possibly. You know, butterfly flies in Zimbabwe. What happens over in the other side of the world? You never know. You get not philosophical, are you? Mark's party hat falls off. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean if nobody's watching the video cast, then 
We're not video casting. That's right. Yes. <laughs> well, apparently, we already have numerous viewers. We've gone viral. Welcome to us <laughs> over the internet. I'm going to look at the camera while I do this. I don't know if, um, if the camera's actually on me. I can't actually see the feed. <laughs> I'll but, tell um, you in about 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome to our viewers online. It's very good to have you with us here on um on techno gaze now you can do that if you if you wish to view us online you can check us out joy.org.au slash techno gaze now craig yes it is a, a joy's 20th birthday and throughout the the week we've been hearing um you know personal stories i guess of what what joy is to each individual um would you have any any particular story that you would uh you'd like to share with us during the show today uh yes well um I started volunteering at Joy to give back to the community. Um, mm. I've heard a lot of stories this week about um, Joy being a, a way of, of coming into the community, um, but I, I've certainly seen it as a way of giving back to a community that has given me so much. Um, the, my first um, exposure was uh, actually through one of my ex-partners who wrote the iPhone app. Ah, um, yes. Of course, and Bob, who yes. is another... Not Bob reader. anymore. Um, oh, Alexi. Alexi. Um, <laughs> Yes, and uh, he uh, he expressed concern about having to write an Android app, and I said, "Well, I've got some some programming skills. I, yeah. I'd never done it before, but I, I I wrote the Android app for for Joy, and that was my first experience. And then uh, I um, met a, a whole plethora of very lovely people here. One of which is is the the wonderful Dean Beck. Um, yes, and I uh, started doing podcasting for the show that he used to do, Hide and Seek. Of course, Dean Beck is uh, coordinating our efforts for World AIDS Day tomorrow. Yes. Uh, bringing it all together. He's one of the key guys, actually, to, to do all that. And he's, I know he's uh, been, uh, you know, working his little tush off to yes. try and get that to uh, all to, together. So thank you, Dean, for all your efforts there. And um, tomorrow will be a, a wonderful, massive day here at Joy. 94.9, not just because it's World AIDS Day, but because it is our, our 20th birthday. It's our, the 20th year that we've been on air. Um, so that's... Uh, and, and would you say that technology here at Joy... Like, I mean, you've, you've been able to sort of flex your technology mind uh, here as well as in your um, in your day li- day-to-day work, I presume? Like, uh, Yeah, it has. Um, I've often thought about... Um, possibly thinking of doing a science show for hmm. for joy but finding other people to come and help me but um i think techno gaze is sciencey enough for me to contribute to to uh to satisfy that <laughs> and of course there's not just the the work that we do on air there's also the the back of house work as well like the the podcasting and and all of that, that stuff as well which is yeah really lovely like i, I really enjoy podcasting because uh it's um you're not on. You don't have to like design a whole show and have to talk to people all the time, which I don't always like doing. <laughs> yeah. One of the things I find quite um, quite empowering here at Joy is the fact that we can really be ourselves in all senses of the word. Um, you know, uh, sometimes um, the more nerdy types, <laughs> um, you know, get um, pushed aside in other in other groups. Um, but here at Joy, it's um, it's a place where you know we are all sort of here to, to do a, the, the one common goal, which is putting great radio to air. And um, it's a real opportunity for people that may be more introverted or maybe more, you know, sort of less out in the out in the open to to really you know show their stuff. And and you, you know, there's plenty of um, roles here that can. Um, you know, allow you to to use your technical skills for sure. And that's the the good thing about Joy. It is very very inclusive. Mm. And you know, when I started volunteering here a bit over a year ago, that was the thing that I noticed that, you know, I wasn't sort of yeah welcome to Joy and left aside. People act- actively sort of came up, said hello, welcomed you, helped you out if you had problems. And it's not and it wasn't a one off. It's throughout the whole organisation. It's like that. So it's really really good to be part of Joy. Yeah, and I think as well it's it's like not only are we welcoming in all senses, but I think the the fact that we are a GLBTIQ, um, you know, uh, organisation that immediately sort of takes all the prejudices away that that people, um, you know, you might find in other in other areas of your life. You know, there's I, I always come here and I always think to myself, wow, this is somewhere that I, I absolutely feel safe in, in expressing myself in who you know in whatever I want to um, 
uh, you know, within. Obviously, don't be too. <laughs> there are, it is a workplace environment, but <laughs> you can, you know, not feel that that on a on a personal level that you're ever sort of um, thought of as being lesser, mm. yes, or anything like Definitely. that. And that's that's an amazing thing. You're to, always amongst to people have. who get you, mm. Mm. and that's great. This is Technogaze on Joy 94.9. It is 25 minutes past 12. We have lights in our faces. We've got we've got curtains up where we never had curtains up before. See, this is the thing, right? The curtain actually makes it feel a bit more in- intimate here in the uh, in the studio, but in actual fact, there's more people watching than ever before. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then we see a few people sort of walk past the uh, the main window there and uh, mm, that's give us great. a little wave or something. But there is also a camera just <laughs> staring right at me right Don't now. Don't yep. look into it. And the other one over there. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking for it to move. It, you know, it's, it's like one of those big brother cameras, you know, like it just sort of... It follows, follows you. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I just move over here, does that... No, no, no. I don't know. Don't go to the bathroom midway through the show, however. <laughs> We'll have somebody running after you with a mobile cam. You can you can view the online stream joy.org.au slash te- uh, technogaze is is where we're testing it out, and of course there will be a stream um, for tomorrow's World AIDS Day uh, uh, shebang. Mm. Yeah, we'll find out a little bit more about that shortly. I think yes, because one of the key people on uh, doing bringing all that together is uh, is Arvi, again another good friend of of uh, technogaze. And um, he's he's happy as a um, <laughs> the, the, prover- the proverbial in the mud. That's right. <laughs> I think you can say pig and he's, shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, but will we? Uh, we'll have Harvey in in just a few moments. I just realised half of management are standing right outside <laughs> the studio right now, <laughs> listening intently. My goodness. But we'll, um, we'll bring you Arvi, we'll bring you some more technology-related stuff in uh, just a few moments. You're listening to Technogaze on Joy 94.9. Technogaze! Joy 94.9. I'm Heath, and I've been volunteering at Joy for the last eight years. I wear a lot of hats at Joy news team coordinator and podcasting coordinator. My professional job title is database administrator and the type of things I do, um, I basically manage and maintain the the web application and the GUI application, making changes and improvements and fixing bugs and providing the data and the reports. And has Joy helped me in my, my professional job? Well, I guess it's helped me be, become, a, become a little more professional. You're listening to Technogaze here on Joy 94.9. That was Heath, who um, works behind the scenes here at Joy 94.9, mostly. Does he does a lot of podcasting air. A lot of podcasting as well. Yes. And a not-so-secret geek. Yes. <laughs> He's very out-there geek. Mm-hmm. He has um, he has what are they, uh, speakers in his shower, I do believe. Bluetooth speakers. A Bluetooth radio. <laughs> Tremendous. Yes, oh, hello. Is. Oh, hello. <laughs> you can't keep a good nerd down. <laughs> I thought we locked the door. <laughs> <laughs> that, of course, is Arby. <laughs> if you're not looking at the video right now and scared out of your mind by the uh, the um, ex- we, we could we could save you face. rock horns behind your head. <laughs> Come on, we are, we are completely. Uh, um, uh, wasting the opportunity <laughs> yes. for, for you know, yeah, yeah, horns and he, yeah, come on. I, th- mm-hmm. I think we um, dance. As somebody who had to, sorry, vision mix your first half an hour of this show, Mark never shuts up. Oh, look. <laughs> you know, like, I was like, oh, he's going to cut to Rena and Michael, and he's, I'll cut to, no, he's still talking. I don't like <laughs> oh. Well, I'm glad, I, I'm glad you're here, Avi, to help out. There we go. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're good at that yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've, you've let me on and you've turned my mic on. Can, yeah. I, tell, can I tell you what your first mistake was? <laughs> right. Thank you for joining us, Avi. You're welcome. And thank you for cutting through the, um, the Mark diatribe. And I will say, however, Mark, and, and to, to blow hot air up your skirt. <laughs> uh, you look very good on camera. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you're <laughs> I'm, very I'm fetch- camera-genic. Yeah, you're, right. you're very photogenic. So, uh, there's a future for you on community TV, I think. Uh, Raina, I think there was a backhanded to us saying that we're not. Uh, no, no, Raina's hair looks phenomenal. 
<laughs> I like how it's backlit by the big yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. softbox. Yeah, yeah. You look like one of those. It, it's it, you know when you put a troll doll behind a a, a, light a, bar troll, a troll doll. A troll doll, <laughs> Avi. But it's the, it's the coloured <laughs> hair that I was going for, Ray, and adjust the hair focus on. And troll dolls are cute. I like them. Oh, good. I, I, I called I called Raina a Smurf earlier. <laughs> <laughs> troll dolls. Have white hats. Anyway. Yeah, true. I know. Mm. So why am I here? Uh, why are you here? Well, yes, uh, why are you here? <laughs> because we have all this gear sitting yes. around us, and it is majority because of your doing, right? Yes. Marvie, you're, you're coordinating this effort to try and give us some uh, a, a visual medium today. Well, tomorrow, well, tomorrow uh, I uh, you guys are just humping on the back of our, our hard We're work the guinea here. pigs. We're doing what? <laughs> what? Yeah, you're riding on our coattails is what I was going oh. for, but missed. Um, yes, yeah, so we have in the studio uh, four remote-controlled cameras, which are the ones that are moving about. Uh, we have one locked in camera for news. That's all feeding into a Grass Valley Indigo. Mm-hmm. That and gro- what is that? The Grass Valley Indigo is our vision mixer. Okay. The vision mixer then feeds from a Grass Valley Topo IDDR. Which is what? <laughs> which is our digital data recorder and playback unit, which will play back all of our pre recorded content tomorrow. Cool. That is fed by uh, the five cameras, two laptops, because we're getting people in from Skype. All of the audio from all of the studios goes into an audio panel. That audio panel then goes into the vision mixer. The vision mixer then delays the audio stream by 120 milliseconds, <laughs> because that's how long it takes to process the video. Right. right. Sends that out to a TriCaster 40 generously donated by Mazda and Michael over here, which then is sending it out to the stream and recording the content for us. Wow. And all of this adds up to, I, I, I hope we can get a photo of this at some it is point. On, it is on the Joy949 Twitter feed. So if you take a look at our Twitter feed mm. uh, at Joy949, uh, yesterday our lovely social media people were tweeting pictures of what all of that looks like. Because that is a phenomenal amount of equipment and it is, it is uh, you know, really exciting to see when you come in. It's kind of fun, yeah. It is cool. And we'll put it up on our Facebook page as well. Yes. Mm. It's a nerd's heaven. It ha- can I tell you what is so amazing about it? Every button lights up when you push it. <laughs> Does like, anything beep or go ding? We have the machine that goes ping. Yes. I mean, the, vol- the volume sliders. The volume sliders are robotic. <gasps> so when you cut to the playback machine, those robot volume sliders go up automatically. That's awesome. And then as soon as the playback finishes, they go down. It's tremendous. Now, is anyone actually controlling it right now? Yes, yeah, so we have the lovely Josh, which hopefully is controlling. Josh is I, hopefully I see a, a hand waving. We're, we're yes. gonna, I'm going to try and coordinate this because we did have a message from Andrew Kay um, wondering who is who in the on the video stream. That's Hello, right. Andrew yes. Kay, how are you? Um, if um, Josh if can Josh focus on Mark. Can focus on me. This is me. This is Mark. Hello. Hello. And over on the other side of the uh, the desk here, we've got Rainer on the right, um, Michael in the middle, and Arvi over there on the left. And uh, if you Shit were watching, yeah, if Actually, you were, the, the floppy ones on your heads. <laughs> if you were watching earlier, you did see our lovely newsreader Maddie T doing a sunrise Joy Twenty um, photo bomb from our production <laughs> studio behind you guys. That's so, right. Um, how, how does that work? What do you mean? What? You know, like on Sunrise, you have oh, that window. Yeah, window. Yeah, there's a window behind was, me that doesn't have a curtain. Correct. Oh, my God. So you were getting photobombed with our hashtag. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm going to do that to him. I don't know. Can he? No. no. no you'll have to you'll get outside to the building. The building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's Absolutely. some H&S issues with that. Yeah, but just pretend oh, you're... There you go. Back. There, there he is. Yeah. Security. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yes, this is Sunrise now. Can I not be koshy, please? Uh, okay. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so um, it all streams tomorrow morning from 6 a.m. at worldaidsdayworldwide.org. Yes. Um, so tune in. We are broadcasting for 24 hours, apparently nonstop. Wow. Which should be quite fun. Um, <laughs> Red Bulls all around? We, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it, 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 what I quite liked is because we have two vision mixers, two cameramen, and all the audio crew, we, we did a whip round of energy drink of choice. And each person has a different energy oh. drink of choice. Oh, of course. Yeah. So we course. have crates of the different ones coming in. Mm-hmm. It's all um, we the- also, uh, what I didn't mention, by the way, we also have two remote crews that are now, uh, for example, one of our remote crews is out at Fed Square today doing uh, a video of the uh, year event, which is the Youth Empowerment Against HIV, going down at Fed Square right now. Go down there. They've got a big bouncy condom castle. Fantastic. Wow. Great. And then tomorrow we've got a couple of events that our remote crews are going out to. We've obviously got uh, the church service happening at St. Paul's. That's the one opposite Fed Square. Yes. 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 And uh, Government House. 
Ooh. So, of course, uh, next year in July, AIDS 2014 arrives in Melbourne. It is the largest medical conference in the world. We're expecting somewhere in the region of 22,000 delegates uh, and 2,500 media. Uh, that is being launched tomorrow at Government House by uh, Unsung Suu Kyi, a uh, Nobel Peace Prize mm-hmm. winner uh, uh, from Myanmar. So uh, we will have video from that live at 6 p.m. here on Joy 94.9. We're not just a radio station. Not for tomorrow. We, yes. are, a, we, are, a, we are now radio with pictures. <laughs> <laughs> It'll That's never novel. catch on. We, we can't say that other word because we don't have a license to broadcast that. We're radio with pictures. Yes. Yes. Just on the internet as well. Yes. Yes. Joy.org.au slash technogaze if you want to check it out now. And, of course, the the web address tomorrow if you want to um, tune in again. Is worldaidsdayworldwide.org. Excellent. You're listening to uh, Technogaze here on Joy 94.9. We're just in in a very dream state at the moment (laughs) with these lights and so forth around us. Um, Can you imagine what it's going to be like for the presenters to have to do this for 24 hours? Well, Mm. I'm already getting quite warm well, and I'm I think the fame's coming to your head, basically. <laughs> I, I think you're going to be calling for light, for makeup and hair any yeah, second. Where, where is the makeup room? I, I didn't go past that. Where I, I have a rider. Where are my blue M and M's? And of course, we've got more technology stuff. We haven't really talked much about technology. We haven't been able to get a word in, have we? <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll do that in just a moment. And just remember, don't copy that floppy. Technogaze. This is Technogaze here on Joy 94.9, where we're covering some of the latest in technology. Um, very special week, Joy's 20th birthday week this week as well. Raina and Mark with you right now in the studio. Michael's running in. See, if you're, um, if you're actually uh, viewing us online, you'd be able to see um, the goings-on. We're rushing around like... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I've asked for the camera to be put onto you as I ran into the studio. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> Good editing there, hopefully. Um, and of course, we are because it is Joy's uh, 20th birthday, we, are, we have a birthday prize to give away a CD album by Daft Punk, mm. Random Access Memories. What an appropriate CD to be giving away um, here on Techno Gaze. Uh, it includes uh, a couple of tracks, Get Lucky and Lose Yourself to Dance. Lose yourself to dance. Mm-hmm. What a great track! If you um, if you would like to win that prize, you can do so by uh, contacting us. If you call us in the studio, one uh, three hundred Joy nine four nine is the number. If you are a current member mm-hmm. and you have not won a prize in the last two weeks, you can uh, win that prize today, right here, right now on Joy ninety four point nine. Um, first person to to call will. Receive the uh, the prize. Mm, so, so get on yay. the phone. Get on the phone. One three hundred Joy nine four nine. We are giving this away because it is um, Joy's birthday, and what better time to give anything <laughs> away? <laughs> you have to blow hard with those things, don't you? Though? <laughs> That's better. I can't, I can't say it's my strong. That's suit. going to stuff up the volumes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll blow a little harder, Rain, and put your heart into it. So, <laughs> don't fall off your chair. <laughs> We don't want that happening while we've got the video camera. No, last, that we? would be embarrassing. That would be very embarrassing. Do we have any technology news? Oh. <laughs> Apparently we do. We do? Is that why we're here? We do? All right. Um, how about this one? Um, uh, the f- oh, the $4,000 desk on sale right now. How much? Yes. Which is amazing. Wow. And why is it four thousand dollars? I hear you ask. Well, it's got it's got all the good gadgets in it, right? Yes, it sure it's does. It's got Wi-Fi. It's, it's got Wi-Fi. It's got Bluetooth. It's, it's got, got a programming API. <laughs> it's got a touch screen, and it knows and it tells you to get moving when it is time for you to have a move. So we were talking last week about about um, some different things to help you ergonomics. Yeah, that's right. To help you sort of get off your bum when you need to. Um, and this desk apparently is, is going to give you a gentle nudge by actually, you know, giving you a little bit of a reminder and then raising itself up to make you stand up. It's got whisper mode where it sort of gently goes up and then down again. Whisper mode. For the camera. Mode. Up and down. <laughs> up. Can and the camera do that too? I don't know. Yeah, the, ca- the camera can do that. But <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's quite an amazing, and it's got APIs too, so it can you I've can always wanted to do a desk stuff with an API. <laughs> can you imagine what you could do with it though? I like, could hack into somebody's desk, <laughs> make it stand up really quickly. So this this brings about ergonomics, the Internet of Things, yeah, all in one uh, amazing 
device, I guess. Well, mm. ap- apparently when you're standing up, you're burning a whole lot more calories than when you're sitting down. Right. And, and it, you keep track of it. I, yep. I, physios often recommend um, you know, or, or suggest that by sitting down a lot of the day, that's when you've got your, your spine is most compressed. Mm. So it's actually a good thing to be standing up when you're... Um, when you're um, mm. you know, working at a desk. And there's, yeah. there's even a study that says that for every hour you spend sitting down, you cut 22 minutes off your lifespan. Wow. Isn't Seriously? that mad? 20? I, I, I don't that's, know. That sounds like a lot because based on that, I'm going to, I would have died two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move myself. I'm standing up right now because I want to save myself. How many minutes? <laughs> <laughs> you, want to, you want to annoy the camera guys. That's the right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it does start up the presets, doesn't it? <laughs> I wonder if they've catered for this. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they have. They've switched to us. <laughs> it's, an, <laughs> it's an Ocean S issue if anyone asks. It's not my, uh, I, I have to, my... Um, my physio has told me I need to stand up more often. <laughs> now, if you're, if you're, um, I mean, with this desk, obviously the health thing is kind of interesting. But it's got this SDK that you, you're going to be able to use soon. It's got, um, it's got Bluetooth. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got a touch screen. It's got all that sort of stuff. What else do you think we might be able to do with this desk? Do you think? Well, it's I'm, got a thermal sensor. Yes. Um, which to, to detect if you're there. Oh, okay. Which is interesting. Mm. Yeah, so I guess that way it doesn't move by itself when there's no one around. That would make sense. But what else could you do with all those things, well, do you think? Well, with the SDK, you can perhaps start building in some of the um, like the pedometer-type software. So if it senses that you haven't exercised much, then it could perhaps exercise you a little bit more by getting you to stand up more often. Yes. yes. But aside from health, uh, can you think of anything? Well, I think like the, the fact that it, it is aware of you coming and leaving the, uh, the desk, mm. I think that's, that's a good thing in itself. Uh, I mean, when you think about computers, right, you've got IM software and it's often not quite right when it knows when it says, are you away or are you available at your desk? That's true. Yeah. Um, perhaps if you could connect yep. into your desk's knowledge of that, then that's another way of that's doing right. it. That's right. That's what I'm thinking. If you're in a, if you're in a business and, and there are a couple of... Uh, large banks that that have buildings like this where you always hot desk you don't have an office but imagine how nice it would be to just go to your desk Mm. or go to any desk it knows who you are from bluetooth or whatever yeah and it it sets you up to do all the things that you need yeah how cool would that be it would preset itself to whatever um settings you you need your favorite height of desk Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah that'd be brilliant actually marks you as present for whatever reasons you might need to be marked as present for and tells you off when you've had too long in the toilet. Oh, that's a bit creepy. Yes. <laughs> well, that's some um, that, at the very low, low cost of four thousand four thousand dollars. Oh, buy two, <laughs> buy two. <laughs> it is to be fair. It is handmade. It's not you know a, a, a large, big box European right. furniture and type you, and thing. You, and you'd be the only one in the office with a touch screen on your, in your desk. Oh yes. my goodness. Yes. <sighs> yes. We. Well, yeah, uh, this is Techno Guys here on Joy ninety four point nine. Michael Rayner and. Mark in the studio with you right now. You can view us online, joy.org.au slash technogaze. Michael's uh, microphone just flopped. <laughs> flopped. It did, didn't it? <laughs> it, went, it went, I'm, not, I'm not happening. I'm just going to flop down now. Mm-hmm. If you're viewing us online, you'd be able to see. <laughs> see my microphone <laughs> flopping. <laughs> oh, look. And you'll know that that's not a euphemism for anything else, at least. <laughs> that's very true. You're going to see me blush. Oh, what other gadgets are kind of um, cool and interesting? Um, paper planes. Yes. We all love a good paper plane, don't we? And, and we love technology. So how about a paper plane and technology? Mm. And being able to control your paper plane with your iPhone. What? <laughs> now you can. This is old school to new school right yeah, this, there, right this, now. This is a Kickstarter project. Yes. Yet another one that's hugely oversubscribed at about $197,000 compared to the 50000 that that um, they're asking for. So that's good news. And what it is is a little motor mm. that's um, got a rudder and obviously the engine yep. attached to a sort of a fairly long, narrow bit of what looks like plastic mm. and the controlling unit at the front. And what you do is it comes with instructions to fold your piece of paper in a certain way so it fits into the, the, um, the gizmo. Yep. And you can control it with your iPhone. You take your phone, you tilt it up, you tilt it down, you tilt it left and right, and the plane will follow. That sounds rad. And it's built to be crash-proof. Crash-proof? Yes, and it's rechargeable. Plug it into your standard Bluetooth micro um, adapter and you can recharge it. 
That sounds sweet. Crash proof is something that you need with their um, paper aeroplanes, I think. Yes. Well, for your expensive, well. uh, <laughs> expensive electronic motor, then maybe you do. Or is it that expensive? Well, it's, it's, it's around about the $40 mark I, I could see from the Kickstarter project. That's all right. Yeah. You know what else was on Kickstarter recently was that project, and I, I don't know if we've had much of a chance to talk about it, but it was a project where you could get a little remote control device that you would put on a cockroach. Yes. And you would kind of do brain surgery on the cockroach, which sounds probably pretty gross, and I think maybe it is. Ethically wrong, too, possibly. A bit, a bit <laughs> creepy, but this plane thing sounds awesome. No, no animals were hurt oh, in the no, making no. of it. That's right. Yeah. But it, I think there's going to be a lot more of that sort of, you know, little things that you can control with your phone, little, mm. little you know, robots and, and bits mm. and pieces mm. coming out. The cheaper it gets. Um, speaking of crowdsourcing and funding and that sort of thing, I... Um, I don't know about you guys on Facebook, but I follow God on Facebook. God on Facebook's pretty funny. He's hilarious. Um, he He's got she, a he? I was going to say. Omni, well, I think he God's takes present. On, yeah, well, he, he takes on the uh, the male um, pronoun. Is that the word? Mm-hmm. Uh, for for um, his presence on Facebook. And he's, uh, he's marked as a comedian as well. It's actually quite funny if you, if you want a good laugh throughout the day um, and if you're inclined to not be concerned too much about... Um, um, you know, a representation of God <laughs> on Facebook, um, then, yeah, it's, it's a great uh, uh, person to follow. Um, but from the crowdsourcing point of view, he actually, um, there was this kind of odd messages every now and then over the past two weeks where he sort of posted that his family member had passed away recently and all this sort of thing. And it's oh, like, no. oh, he wasn't doing it in the typical... Not in character. In character. Mm. It was more... Well, it was kind of half in character, half not. And obviously, you know, the person behind it was quite, um, you know... Uh, you know, moved by what what was going on in his life at the time. So, but he, and he felt it, it appropriate to to post about it. He then uh, went about putting a um, a Kickstarter style project or you know a funding thing together to get his um, the his remaining parent um, give give them a holiday, and um, in doing so had. Way more than than um, than what he aimed to get donated okay. as a result, and uh, it's lovely. It was um, yeah, and now he's actually going about the process of uh, uh, talking to journalists to ensure that they can report what actually happened, so that he because he's it, it's a very odd persona where he's 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 always in character, right? So yeah. he's very much. Um, he doesn't really want to break out of that character, so he's he's enlisted some journalists to to tell the story behind what this is all about, so yeah. that you know people actually do realise that it is legitimate and mm. not just some um, person trying to make money on some crowdsourcing funding yep. um, site. Interesting one there. I don't know if if you uh, it's, if I was to recommend anyone to um, to want to po- follow during the day. Follow God. Follow God. <laughs> follow God. Why not? We, we used to have um, somebody in our office that took care of all the telephone switching and stuff like that. His name was Jesus. And if you have a problem with your telephone, Jesus will help you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Literally. Literally. I guess um, Jesus is actually a, a, a used name. Yes, it in is in today's society exactly. as it was back then yeah. as well. Till poor Jesus heard his back. <laughs> now, um, congratulations to Marco for uh, for <laughs> well done <laughs> entering and winning the uh, random access memory CD by Daft Punk. Marco got lucky. Yes. Hilarious pun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're full of here today on Joy ninety four point nine. Well done, Marco. Well done. Um, we are here in the studio. We've got cameras all over us. So if you want to check us out online, um, that's what we should have lighting. done. We should have had wearable cameras on top of our heads. GoPro. Yes. Uh, or similar. Uh, maybe we should try that for another. Yes, another we could do show. that. We wouldn't have all the uh, the mixing equipment to, to... I'm sure we could do something. Yeah. We have technology. Mm. We have a computer. It'll yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm amazed at what... Uh, Arvi was, of course, just with us before talking about... Um, how much it takes to get everything all together and the number of cables and computers and monitors and screens and, and God knows no what. No kidding. This started last week, didn't it? I mean, oh. in last week's show, we were stepping over cables and boxes yep. and bits and pieces and mm. And they had a lights. very late night last night putting things together. I bet. Yeah. Well done, guys. Mm. Do we have any uh, last things? What was this, uh, there's, a, there's a tablet, I think, coming up. Um, 
Well, there's a rumoured tablet. Right. Yes. And it's not an Apple tablet? <laughs> what? There's a rumour about oh, a non-Apple tablet. You had Apple to mention product? that word, didn't you? <laughs> hey, yeah. it's this week, not last week. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's not an Apple-free week. But this, tell you what, though, it's not even an Android tablet. No. It's a Chrome OS tablet. Yes. Another, the Nexus 10 is rumoured to be a Chrome OS tablet. That's right. Yeah. Now, we're, we're, we're building rumour upon rumour here, so don't hang out to buy for it. It's, because it it's fairly widely reported, but yeah, mm. it could be, could be anything at this stage. It's not like... Uh, and Chrome OS is built on Google's Chrome browser. That's right. And um, there's obviously the Chrome netbook that's out there, and the, uh, quite a number of people said, when are we going to get a Chrome tablet? Mm. And this could be it. And apparently Google have been working on the um, software keyboard for a while for Chrome OS. Really? Yeah, so that's more of an indication that this is likely to happen. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's an interesting sounding rumor. Do you think it'll uh, do you think it'll make any sort of dent in the market though? I mean, the Chrome books aren't really burning any No, no, any they're not. Records. I, you don't see many of them about either, do you? Uh, no, I see them all the time in shops. Yes. Um, and they look they look shiny. They look beautiful, mm. but it's um, and they're so light and everything, but it's like well, you've got to be online all the time. Yeah. Well, there are there the are time. more there are more and more apps that have been um, geared to be running offline. Mm. So you can you know Google uh, Docs you can run offline. Yeah. So you can do all your documents and it'll automatically sync. So it is it is becoming more useful, and as time progresses, we are going to be online continuously. So it's not going to be an issue. But yeah, today is probably still a little bit early. Yeah, I think there's just not quite enough critical mass of decent apps mm. yet that are available offline. That's right. Mm. But could be interesting. Mm. This is TechnoGaze here on Joy 94.9. It is um, five minutes to one here. We're almost out of time. It's been a it's very quick show today. It must be all those, um, all the, I don't know, the photons that are burning against my skin right now. <laughs> you you put on, on sun- the sunscreen neck. lotion? <laughs> don't burn. I need it. <laughs> um, we'll be back with a wrap-up of the show in a few moments. You're listening to TechnoGaze on Joy 94.9. Joy 94.9 in Melbourne, joy.org.au for the world. My name is Anne. I've been volunteering at Joy for 10 years now, nearly 11. I am the operations support officer. Um, I get involved in a lot of IT things. Um, I have learnt a tremendous amount about IT, particularly a database called Salesforce, which is a new project that Joy started just over 12 months ago, and and I'm helping with the infrastructure development of that. Um, Totally new to me. Before that, we were using a FileMaker database. This one is a little bit harder, but I have learned so much. Um, I've been involved in little IT things over the, the, the years I've been involved with Joy, and some of that has been brand new stuff for me. So that's helped me to get a few private contracts that have earned me a little bit of money and allowed me to keep volunteering at Joy a couple of days a week. You're listening to Joy 94.9. This is Techno Gaze. And that was Anne, who is uh, very well known here at uh, yes. the station. Um, you know, it's, it's good to know that um, not everyone here at, uh, you know, doing the technology thing is on air. You know, there's, mm. there's a lot of back, back of house um, stuff to be done. Many, yeah, and many people work in that area. Mm. Um, we're kind of run out of uh, run out of time for the show. I think it's um, it's gone it's way almost, too quick. Almost sure has. The, we could hijack the next show. <laughs> we could, but I don't <laughs> think Pete Dillon would be very happy about that. Mm, and <laughs> well, we he can't might come in here and wrestle us on the, on video. We can't very well go over the news either. No, no. I, yeah, well, there's nothing in between. Well, I, I can't see Matt, so maybe he doesn't even exist right now. Oh, maybe we should <laughs> photobomb him. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mum. <laughs> um, this has been Techno Gaze on Joy 94.9. World AIDS Day tomorrow. Tune in on uh, Joy to uh, listen to all that's been going on with that. Um, my name is Mark. Uh, Michael, thank you for coming in today. <laughs> thank you. And Raina, also thank you. Cheerio. Bye, Have everyone. Have a good weekend. Ciao for now. Techno Gaze on Joy 94.9.